welcome back to the channel on today's live unboxing. We're going to be unboxing Electric Bike Company's Model J made for, what would it say, like a junior? So it's like the Model J, so it's like a junior. So it's like made for like smaller people. They do come in with a 24 inch tire and a 26 inch tire. DD is behind the camera. She might try it, I'm not sure. But uh, before we get started on this video, if you guys do want to support the channel, there is a link down below for the Electric Bike Company's Model J and all their other models. And I think use code SHREDDY100 for $100 off. So check out that uh, link down below. If Electric Bike Company isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. So this bike is actually super duper custom out. Um, I chose three batteries. Actually, let's let's wait and say hi to everybody. I don't think you guys can see me right now. <laughs> Dee's not paying attention. <laughs> I'm here, Dee Dee. Um, so yeah, everybody say hi to Dee Dee. Dee Dee, say hi to everybody. The microphone's right over there. Hey guys. All right, Sorry so guys, we were kind of like last minute getting everything like ready. <laughs> All right, so let's see who's in the chat. Uh, never mind. What's okay. up, never mind, Shredhead members? If you guys want to become a Shredhead member, check out that link down below. There's actually a video live right now for Shredhead members. It's going to be uh, premiering on Saturday for everybody else. Before I forget, there's a few things I want to show you um, in this corner after the unboxing. Special um, delivery from V Tire. I had no clue it was coming today, and then some stuff from Kenny Moto. But, um, yeah, so this is a super customed out e-bike, three batteries, up to 150 mile range. The color is super awesome. If you, if you saw the thumbnail, that's going to be pretty much what this bike is going to be, hopefully. Uh, I asked them that they'll put the rear brake on the left so I can practice wheelies. I'm going to start like unboxing everything. Supposedly the bike is completely assembled. All I got to do is turn the handlebars. And also, I really love the way this bike uh, came shipped. They had this like big old box on top with like a cone, so they couldn't stack anything on top. So it came in tip top shape, super perfect. I think I might have to just take all these little side pieces off and then turn it sideways and actually open the box from the side. So I might have to. This is a freshly new blade. Watch out, DD. Oh yeah, in case you guys missed it, I do have some, we, we've been working hard editing videos, guys. That new computer has been making me a workhorse. We have uh, that video that I released today that's going to come out Saturday. I also have another video coming out Sunday where we're all testing out these new um, Sotion motors. Uh, Matt the Mechanic has had here actually for a while. This is going to be his third one on the video that, we, that uh, we've tested out. Um, and another friend got it installed. So we got four people with social motors down here and I'm trying to see if maybe I should get one. So you guys got to watch that video before you guys help me make up my mind on that upgrade. And you guys are going to be hearing a lot of weird sound effects on these videos. Like whenever I pop a wheelie because they're demonetizing videos. I don't know if they're uh, looking for the word wheelie in it. So I've been blurring it out <laughs> or beeping it out, <laughs> making weird sound effects. Hey, Dee Dee, any questions or anything going on? Any comments? Any, uh, make sure you hit the live comments. If you look on the computer right behind you, those are live too. So we have, let's see who's in the chat again. So it's never right. mind, Bubba more. Shitty. What's uh, up? Mark H. Ice Goose, Connecticut. What's up? What up? Ron Pe Pecunis. What's going on? Hopefully you said the, the name right. <laughs> Bones 330, Shred or Die. Hell yeah, I always choose Shred, bro. <laughs> Ice Goose said, is Electric Bike Company in the chat? They yeah. actually might be in the chat. If they're not now, they might be popping in later. Bluff, what's up everyone? Steve Fuller. He, oh, he said hi, purchase mine in July, still waiting on it. Oh, okay. There we go. Yair Sosa, what's up Shreddy and D? Yeah, we've been having some crazy weather here, so We'll be popping out some reviews here soon. We got the Async A1. I think I do have to open. Yeah, this. I'm gonna open it like a door. A Love Outreach said it's a test drive of the Model J a couple weeks ago, hoping to order one soon. Let's check this thing out. I hope it. Dude, let me know if I'm gonna knock anything. <laughs> it's a big I box. Have thought about this. <laughs> it looks like it's packed. <sighs> Yo, Dead Shred's back here looking at me like, what are you doing? What do you do? Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna open it by pulling it out this way. Can you guys see this good? 
Yeah. All right. There we go. Oh. Who, whoever's in the chat, did you guys watch Kill Tony? And did you watch this Monday's Kill Tony with Rick, Rick Flair? Boo! It was so good. Ah, there we go. I'm going to cut that off. Get all that stuff up the top. There we go. All right. It does come with an alarm system, anti-theft. And then your keys are usually going to be always on the bottom of this. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. So we'll put that off to the side. Actually, I'll set that off over here. What else we got? What else we got? Uh, tool set and instruction manual. Guys, you should always read the instruction manual. The reason I skip through it for these live streams is, do you guys want to watch me like read this instruction manual? <laughs> Probably not. I'm guessing it comes with like a, let's say four amp charger. I don't know. We'll see. Very nice charger, actually. 48 volt four amp charger. Very good quality charger. Set that up here. So, oh yeah, let me show you the charging. What is one of these? I might have to find one of these uh, little uh, piggy pigtail connection. Or what, what do you call that? Uh, a connector for my uh, other charger. So I can have two chargers. Wow. I got that Grin Technologies charger. Can I lift nice. it up this way or? That's as far back as we can go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I don't know if we have room, D. Uh, I might pull this straight at you, D. Hold on, what, what, what's going on here? Dude, the color looks sick. Okay. Damn, look at this. They package the wow, heck out of that. Nice. What in the world? Good job on the packaging. I mean, wow. Good, good. Hmm. Hmm. I don't, hmm. Oh, and it comes with the rear rack. I totally forgot like every single addition I got on this. Dude, I'm gonna have to turn it sideways. <laughs> Guys, D, D, I might need some help. D, D, help me. All right. What am I gonna do now? I'm gonna try to get this wheel out and then get the box out the way. How about that? Uh, kickstand. D, help, hello. <laughs> D, is everybody laughing at me? <laughs> Ooh, look at that. All right, let me take care of this box really quick. <laughs> Holy mud, this box is huge. All right, out of my way. Oh yeah, I'm catching up with comments. I just said, I think the bike slides out from the side. There we go. There you are, what a huge box, wow. Wow, wow. Brian, I got 100 miles on my three battery MJ. Ooh, it's actually not as heavy as I thought it would be with three batteries. Oh, that's that's awesome, dude. All right, hold on. I'm gonna <laughs> slide this box by uh, DD. Al? If I hit that camera, I am so Al sorry. Al said I rode that bike up the Himalayas. I was wheeling all the way to the top. No way, you can wheelie this thing? That's why I told him to do the brakes, the rear brake on the left. You know why. You know why. Runaway Electric, right. what's up, Shreddy? What's Market? going on? Looks like half the price is for the box. <laughs> hey, this is a good price. <laughs> Very good price. It starts off at what, eleven ninety nine? But this one, <laughs> after all the upgrade, dude, look at the freaking chain guard. Oh my god, we're gonna get you guys close to this after I get like it all straightened out. Oh wow! Make sure you guys check out that link down below for this. I'm getting it closer because uh, I just moved that. Right there, so we're getting closer. Come a little closer. All right, all right. Razor blade. Do not. Actually, you know what? I don't want to. I didn't need a razor blade. Uh, see, with razor blades, you got to be careful with stuff like this. Man, should I do it, guys? Any comments, DD? Hold on. You said somebody said they wheelied this up hills? You're telling me it has enough torque to wheelie uphill? Please have the rear brake on the left side. Please, guys. Please. But, 
Dude, the color, oh my God. This is definitely one of the most sickest custom bikes I've had. All right, now what, guys? Oh, jeez. Okay, I see. DD. Any comments? Boom. All right. Dude. Oh, Didi, what other bikes we have coming in? We got a bike coming in this week. Mod bikes, sidecar. Mark, Mark H said he likes the suspension fork. Uh, Michael Dunn said, when did you order it? How long have we had this here now, D? A few weeks, months. <laughs> oh, come on. You guys do a great job at packing this thing. What the hell? Hey, you know what? I'm gonna loosen the stem, maybe? Dude, huh? There we go. <laughs> there we go. And then this is threaded through nicely. There we go. Boom. All right. Starting to look good. Starting to look good. Saddle looks pretty nice, too. I'm trying to do this as fast as possible for you guys. Damn, that freaking that, that, that chain guard looks good. This must be my display. Nice. Nice. All right. Uh, unwrapping this one. No fun. I'm sure there's an easier way than this. There we go. There we go. What do you guys think? Is this gonna have 150 mile range? I know not at full throttle. Um, these bikes do come locked at 20 miles an hour. I didn't ask them to send it to me unlocked. I think this would top out about 28 miles an hour. I'm just gonna have to ask them how to get into the display and uh, what settings I should put it on to get my full, full on speed on this bad boy. Is that already loosened? So, got to loosen the handlebars, get them suckers up. I might have to get a different tool because this might not even fit in there. Looser? DD, any comments, any questions? Trying to get the code working. Oh. Uh, so if you guys are trying to purchase the bike right now, the code may not be working. It's supposed to be working. We're just tro I'm troubleshooting with them on the back end. We'll oh, we get go. it to you guys soon. Okay. Well, if you're trying to purchase the bike right now, just wait. Stay on the stream. Or you can still purchase it through the link, right? But we'll have a discount yeah. code shortly. Wait for that yeah. discount code for we'll sure. It'll be active by the time we're done this stream. They're responding now. I'm just trying to get it activated. Thank you, Electric Bike Company, if you guys uh, are in the chat. Or if not, maybe Dee Dee can ask him to get in the chat. It's like totally folded up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Give me some handlebar strings. There we go. Dude, this is all your assembly, guys. I don't have to worry about the front wheel, nothing. How should I actually set this for myself? For wheelies, guys. Hop. Hold on. Yes, they gave me the freaking brake on the rear on the left. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, EB. See? All right, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Should I give it like a little front tilt like that? What do you guys think on the stem? Can you guys help me out? Should I tilt it down here forward and then lean it back? Actually, that feels pretty comfortable. I don't want it like super duper high. I don't mind it like too far forward either. Like, I want to say I think there. that looks good. Yeah. So now we tighten this they down. They said, darn, those look high. They actually look really good in person. They look like they fit the bike style well. Like ape hangers, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we can, you can put ape hangers on this. Retro dude, style. Dude, dude, I'm going to wheelie the hell out of this thing. Dude, I think this bike looks like uh, 
I should be wearing some like nice suit, like smoking a cigar, just chilling on it, like drinking wine. <laughs> I love the real wood. You and know, I don't color. drink. All right. Here we go. Oops, bigger one. Biggest, the biggest one. Remind me to tighten this up, guys. Yeah, I'm hyped on this bike. Uh, so I'm thinking these are the 26 inch rims. D probably won't fit on this one. So you can order 24 inch tires as well? Yes, you can. So that's like up to five foot tall person could fit on that one. So this is 26 inch, so it's yep. like five foot three? I think five three here. So like six foot three? There we go. A Love Outreach said, isn't the rear brake always on the left side? Uh, for other bikes, and I think I'm pretty sure EBC, it's always on the right side. But for me and wheelies, you always want it on the left. And they gave me the half twist throttle. I've never wheelied with a half twist throttle yet, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it, guys. Uh, what Definitely. color is the frame? Dude, I don't even know the, color, the name of that color. It's like a cream. We'll get close to it. I'm almost done. Just got to tighten up the handlebars. Yeah, you guys can check out the bike in Eddie's uh, dis in Eddie's um, link in the video's description. And the bike is fully customizable. Yep. With so many color options. And then this one has the front fork suspension on it. You can, when, when it comes stock, it doesn't have the front fork suspension. Oh, Dan Dan um, said Desert Storm. Oh, dude. I forgot. That I asked for the turning signals. It's got turning signals on it, dude. Electric Bike Company is in the chat. What's up, Electric Bike Company? Guys, really, really amazed at the build here. Great quality. Let's get close. Let's get close. Let me, let me clean it up a little bit for you guys. Dude, I'm going to steal this. I'm going to steal you guys. You guys are coming with me. All right. Check it out. So it does have a reflective strip on it. So what we got? Oh, these are the 24 by threes. So we're gonna see, maybe DD can fit on this thing. And then 750 watt motor on here. So battery, battery, battery. Got turning signals, front headlight. Awesome rack here on the back. Uh, brake light, I'm pretty sure it would have the turning signals in there. I'll test it out uh, once I get you guys back in there. But, and boys, here's a, not used to having a, this camera. I'm used to a GoPro, you could be like really close to things. Oh, that, so there's our turning signals. Very cool, very cool. All right, I'm getting back to Dee Dee so she can read these comments. I see you guys asking a lot of questions. And we're back. Here we go. Can I bring this back a little further, D, so you guys can see it? I'm going to turn it on here, too. Let me tighten up that stem just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Code's working yet? Code's working? No. No! Still saying invalid. We'll get it working for you guys, hopefully soon. Uh, there we go. Dan, Dan, right. any update on the code so we can give our viewers a discount? So it looks like the top battery is a 14 amp hour, 14 amp hour, and I think this is a 12. Looks smaller. I can't read upside down. Four, yeah, 14, 14, 14. Holy moly. We're gonna get some crazy range on this range test, guys. So actually, oh yeah, this definitely feels comfortable. Mess with all my little, uh, so, oops, that wasn't me. I don't know if there's, oh, hold on, let me check, make sure that there's like an on switch on all these. Here we go, uh, on, on. I wonder which one's like the main source and if they're running these in series, how they got it going on, on. Because usually when you when you ride a bike with you know dual batteries or three batteries, you're supposed to have them all charged equally. Are you, are, are you getting a text Steve, for these? I'm getting texts from Dan Dan, but we can't read them. Sorry that the phone is our uh, camera. All right, 
There you go. Huh. One, two, three, four, five modes. We're at 82% battery. Um, let me just show you guys the throttle curve. Can you point to the tire, DD? Love these tires, they're cool. Oh, rear's on the left. Pretty instant. Okay, that's cool, there's not a delay. As you can see, when I, right when I twist it, it goes. Some bikes you can actually like do that and it won't even move. Let's see if the modes actually changes the speed. Yep. Now we're at 16. All right, so under no load, we're gonna top out at around 18 miles, 19, 19 miles an hour. So yeah, we definitely gotta tap into the display and get this going at full speed so we could do the full speed test. And uh, we're gonna test out some wheelies on it. I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can see how the turning signals look. See, can I see the turning signals? Okay, it's code Shreddy50. For $50 off, guys. And that Shreddy is 50? working now. Okay, so it wasn't Shreddy 100. All right. No. And then to turn on the headlights, let me lift this up because I'm not sure if it has a walk mode. Okay, hold the up button to turn on the headlights. Dude, this, this bike looks sick. There's a headlight, front turning signals. Oops, that's high beam and low beam, sorry. Turning signals on this side. That's freaking awesome. Let me sit on it and give it a little bit of throttle. D, don't watch. Oh, I'm gonna wheelie this thing for sure. D, uh, can I wheelie in the house just once? Okay, so what I gotta do is go in here somewhere and disconnect that uh, cutoff sensor that way the motor doesn't cut off when I'm trying to wheelie this thing. Any questions in, in the comments? I feel like people are definitely digging this bike. So this is the 24 inch and we can get up to 26 inch tires on this bad boy. Man, that color is so nice. Um, Mark H, I love Electric Bike Company. Brian, I swapped my half throttle for a full twist. Okay, so Coach Shreddy 50 is active. Awesome. $50 off you guys get. Um, color is Desert Storm. JR13 said, that's a very nice looking bike. That's yeah. more my style over the e-dirt bike. And just, so, just cool. so you know, this is a custom color bike. I, I picked this all myself. If you guys want to go to the website, make sure you go to the Model J and choose the custom. And... Uh, T just make your bike look cool and crazy and send me any pictures that you guys might come up with on these. I think like, this... are the batteries uh, together or separate? Uh, that's what I'm gonna have to ask electric bike companies. I'm not sure if they're running in like series, parallel, however they're doing it. Mm. Questions, what questions. What is the motor wattage? 750 watt max. And let me see if I, if I can see the controller. I might be able to tell you how many amps it's pushing. Yeah, it is under. Motor there. is 749, Dan Dan said. And Dan Dan, do you know how many amps the, the controller is? It's like a 22 amp controller. Chuck Diaz said I like it. Let um, me know if you guys want to turn it sideways. Dan Dan said the Model J comes with 24 inch tires. But these are 26, right? These are the 24s. Oh, but okay. But uh, on the website, I saw that you can put 26s on there if you choose to. I'm not 100%. Oh, okay. So you got the... Okay. I did see it on the website. But yeah, these are the 24-inch <laughs> tires. Got the turning signal kit. Got the three batteries. Uh, chose the, the color. Got the wooden uh, chain guard. What do you think about that chain guard? Yeah, that looks awesome. I love it. I love, I love the look the of the look. bike for sure. All of their bikes look so like high quality, high end. Yeah, the paint lovely. job looks really, really nice. And they do that all in house there. They build their batteries in house, uh, paint everything in house. Uh, and let me check, 
they do have a phone on electric bike company. I want to see what their warranty is. I feel like they have a pretty good warranty on their frame and their batteries. Les Dan Dan could, could get that for me in the comments. Frame and battery warranty. What do you guys got going on? Got Tektro brakes. You guys got any questions about the the bike itself? Got quick release uh, through uh, not a through axle on the front, just a quick release drop out uh, front fork. 180 millimeter rotors. We got the Tektro hydraulic. I think they're the four piston. Yeah, four piston disc brakes. So you're gonna have good stopping power with these bad boys. What else we got going? Nice big kickstand that looks like it probably would work in sand. I'm definitely gonna try riding in the, in the sand. Um, I'm hoping I could get this thing like totally unlocked and hit about 28 miles an hour. So uh, electric bike company, maybe you guys can send me the, send me the way how to unlock this. I know you guys have all your bikes unlocked, um, you know, for, the, for legal reasons and you guys do give people the codes to unlock the bikes depending on the state you live in with your legalities. <laughs> so we have a ton of comments. People are loving the bike. We have Mike Feedy. Feedy, what's up, brother? What do you think about the bike? He says it actually looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it remind you of like, I should be in like in a, in a suit and tie, just like smoking a cigar, just chilling. Lavi said, great bike, love mine. Thank you, thank you. What color did you go with? And then what a uh, battery option also. Mark H said, can you have two riders? Mm. I would say you could, but I don't see a spot for pegs, so they might have to hang their, their legs down. But yeah, you can probably have someone in the back and they can hang on to the rack or something. Dude, maybe we can have two people in the back. Somebody <laughs> on the rack and then some, somebody up there. I think tighten up that rack a little bit, actually. I felt like a little, little movement on there. Matterin said, hey, Z and Shreddy, hope you're doing great. What's Look up, Matterin? Wow, he loves the design. How you been, bro? Brian said, need a brake relocation plate. Lavi said, turn on headlights, press plus button on for three seconds or so. Gotcha. We on. You want to see the headlights on again? Okay. Steve said, how oh, fast does up. it go? Uh, right now, it's locked at 20 miles an hour, but I saw on the website, it said a, high, a top speed of 25, but I'm guessing maybe 28 if you push the full power out of it. Hopefully we can get it get it up there. We'll pedal. Oh, and we also we also went with uh, the single speed. I don't like having gears because I'm gonna treat this thing like a moped. Cause look at it, it's pretty much a little mini moped. Thing is sick. Okay, AK said I just joined the chat. How much does that big boy weigh? Oh man, with the three batteries, Dan Dan, could you tell me that? The three batteries on there. It's let let me pick it up for you. Like can, let me let me try it with one hand. Hell no. All right, let me try it with two hands. See, like picking it up like that isn't, isn't bad at all. It feels like about 85 pounds maybe, maybe 86 pounds, give or take. Any more questions? I'll show you some of the stuff I got too here in the corner. Some new tires. New upgrades for other bikes. Um, Electric Bike Company said, yes, we will send you codes to unlock the bike. Yeah. Um, Let's frame go. and motor have a 10-year warranty. Oh, wow. Batteries have a five-year warranty. Very awesome. Uh, JR said, are they 48-volt batteries? 48-volt batteries, yep. Those, what are the uh, inch rims, 24? These are 24, yeah, these are the 24-inch rims, yep. And then I chose the colors of the tires, the color of the rims, all, everything. I chose the color of everything. Even, I'm pretty sure, even the spokes, you can choose the color. Is it a steel frame? Uh, phew. I got to get in that, in that, uh, the website for all the specs. I want to say it's aluminum. It doesn't, for how light it is. Uh, what is the shipping time? Uh, electric bike company is in the chat. Maybe they can give us the shipping time. Yeah, probably depending on if you go custom or if you just go with one of their already pre-made bikes. Oh, so electric bike company said quicker. it is all aluminum 6061. Aluminum. 6061, yep. Thought so. Hell yeah, dude. The color is so cool. I really love the color. D keeps looking at it like, wow. Lauren said, wow, three packs. That's like something I'd build. 
Dude, look at that. That that is freaking cool. Like the the way the that, that color matches this color, and then the cream matches the cream here. Like the colorway is really cool. Like the black, the cream, or the, what is it? The desert sand they're calling it, and then the brown, the wood tones on it. We've always wanted a desert sand color bike. Really cool, yeah. Electric Bike Company uh, bike rack is MIK Universal Racking System. Oh, okay. So you can actually get the MIK rack on here. How many pounds can this actually hold, the rear rack? Michael Dunn Sounds said, what does comfy. it cost to build it that way? Ooh, we're going to have to get in there and actually build it into the app. Uh, if you guys are interested in actually getting one of these yourself, there's a link down below. Use code SHREDDY50s back. SHREDDY50 Shreddy works for $50 off and possibly comes with an alarm kit. Yeah, I think it's $50 off and a free alarm kit. D, can you build a three battery bike with this and one and the custom colors? It might take a sec. Can you guys build it you on guys, their website? Yeah, you guys can, can check it out. Uh, <laughs> the link in the description, uh, if you use Shreddy's affiliate link in the description, uh, it goes straight to this bike. So you can check, that, yep. check out all the custom customization. Can you guys build a bike on the website and let me know the, the full price of this bike with the three batteries, the uh, the chain guard, rear rack, and I think I just chose this color and then the, the tires. Because, yeah, yeah, the whole frame is one color. And you can even do the, the color of the forks. Like, there's so many different things. You can even choose the color of the rear rack if, I, if I'm correct. So awesome. Any questions? Any questions? Are those Rhino tires? And again, it comes with a four amp charger, 48 volt, very nice charger. What is the company of? They do look like those Rhino tires, actually, you're right. That came on the Model R that I had. Electric bike company said 50 pounds for back rack certified, but can carry way more. That's the front tire. <laughs> that looks cool. Yeah. I love the tires. Yeah, they look cool. Very cool. Damn, I want to ride this now. I want to go try to wheelie it. You have to charge each battery separately. Yes, you do. I'm pretty sure you do. Actually, Electric Bike Company, I would actually love to know that. Could you charge one and they all charge? Or do I have to charge them separately? If I do, I think I have. I think I have two other. No, I have one other Electric Bike Company charger that should work for this. Oh, okay, so we have Brian in the chat. He said, I have a black Model J with three batteries. I changed the bars, fixed the position stem, full twist throttle, and cafe fairing. Damn, yo, can you actually send me an email and uh, a picture of that? Or if you're on Instagram, I'd love to see that. That's really cool. Full twist throttle on there and different uh, stem and everything. Matter, it said, I saw a mug at Comic-Con that said struggling, and I thought struggling was pretty <laughs> But I went to get it and it sold out. Oh, man, that would have been cool. We'll have to make one. Mm -hmm. Mike Feedy said, sick color you went with. I would have a field day with designing one. Dang, uh -huh. Dude, go on their website. I want to see what you would come up with. Electric Bike Company. Yes, max speed, 28 miles an hour. Oh, nice. Okay. So, yeah, let's get this up there. Can I can I get the torque up more, too? Let's do it. Uh, We're going to be doing some wheelies. Can you operate it with one, two, or all four batteries? Actually, that's a great question. Should I try? Let me see. I'm going to turn off one. And two, and we'll leave the top. I feel like the top one is the main one that has to be on, I think, I don't know. Let's see. Thank you guys for those questions. Okay, I'm gonna see which one is the main one I could have on. So that's not turning on with just the top one. Maybe the down tube one. Maybe all three have to be on, hold up. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, hold on, which one did I, what did not do yet? This one? This one. That's off, okay. Huh, okay, that's, that's the one that brings it to life. So this one down here is what brings them to life. So you could probably do two or just one, I'm pretty sure. Actually, let me see what happens if I turn that on, turn that on, and turn the main one off. Will it turn off the bike? Uh, trying to show you the display we're still on looks like we're still on okay so i think as long as the that that one turns on the bike you can actually turn the rest off there that's off let me try one more time actually now that did turn on there was still a charge i'm pretty sure 
keep that one still on. Any questions, guys? <laughs> um, EBC said it's an aluminum frame. Yep, yep. Uh, I think, yep, they did. You read that earlier. <laughs> um, I, maybe someone asked again. 50 pounds. Uh, what is the 50 pounds? It weighs about 73 pounds. Hydraulic brakes and puncture resistant tires and rack and wood chain guard with all three batteries. Oh, 73 pounds. That's light. That's not bad at all. Everything? Hold on, with all three batteries? With all three I, batteries. I say 86, man, I'm weak. I am so weak. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, so I had this battery on this battery. Orange oh. said it has a woody scheme. All right. Electric bike company said it comes standard with supercharger, DCCV, three pin aluminum, four amp charger. Four amp charger, really nice charger actually. 50 mm. pounds. Um, does the one, is, can you do one charger with all three batteries? I think somebody asked that earlier. Great question though, great question, because I'd love to know. Okay, said, so do you know what the length is front to back? Hmm. I built one and it seems the sweet, sweet spot is about five and a half feet. Let me uh, get a tape, there's a tape measure in here, right? And I'm still here, I'm not leaving you guys. Electric bike company said it's all rust resistant hardware and all stainless rust resistant spokes. Hold on, do you want do you want a <laughs> length from the front wheel to the rear wheel, like the whole kit and caboodles? <laughs> 69. <laughs> About 70. <laughs> Hold on, can you reread those those comments? I didn't I don't know if there were questions or what. Electric bike company said voltage. I think I just waited. 750 watt. They said it can go 28 miles an hour. Oh, Guys. all rust resistant hardware and all stainless steel rust resistant spokes, brass nipples, and sealed bearings. Brass what? It says brass nipples and sealed bearings. <laughs> so you can ride this on, on the beach. You can ride it in the rain. Uh, even though you do, uh, it has all the seals and everything. If you ride it on the beach, make sure you wash it down a little bit. Get all that salt water off of it. Mark H, are you able to raise the seat for taller riders? Um, I'm going to say no, but it would be cool if they had like some kind of shims you could add to like get it higher. There may be a way, actually. How tall are you? Because Shrek is six Well, foot. you can get the 26-inch uh, tires. Oh. That'll raise it up a little bit. So I think that with the 26-inch tires, it was like from 5'3 to 6-something. Yeah, and you're, so you're six foot and you fit perfect on the seat? About 5 foot 11. Yeah, six foot. Can we see you on the bike again? Yeah, definitely. So you fit per would you want bigger tires or do you fit perfect on this bike? I like I like the size of these tires. I actually like the smaller 24s better than the bigger rims. So here's his feet touching. Yep. I'm down. Dude, I'm excited to do some uh fun range tests on this. Take it to group rides, let you guys check this thing out. Yes, this is live. Yeah, we're live. Yep, yep, yep. And for the people that watch this after the live, they're, they're always complaining, like, why is it taking you so long to unbox the bike? It's like, I did it live. We're, we're doing this live, like, actually live. I don't cut up my lives. Hey, this is probably, <laughs> like, the fastest, um, like, assembly you've done. With I know. Bike. It's like we, we get to uh, talk a little bit more, yeah, answer more like, questions. almost fully assembled? Yep. I wish I still had, uh, I think I have a video on that phone of the way that came with the big cone on top, which is awesome. EB said, for those of us who like to avoid the warranty right away, how big of a battery will fit under that seat? <laughs> oh, man. What do you want, like a big battery in the whole frame? Just take out that one, take out that one, and just fill the whole frame with a battery? That'd be pretty cool. Maybe you could throw a battery on the rear rack, too. Hmm? <laughs> Electric Bike Company said, each battery is 14 AH mm -hmm. with UL safety certificate. That's what you guys got to look for, guys. Whenever you buy e-bikes, make sure you guys got those safety certificates on these because you don't want a, a fire happening. How fast is the bike? They said 28 miles an hour when you unlock it, but it comes shipped at 20 miles an hour. So once it comes shipped and if you want to unlock it, send them an email. They'll send you a way to unlock it. Is it mid-drive? No, it's a rear 750-watt uh, geared hub motor. And it has front suspension? Just a front fork suspension, yep. Stock, it doesn't come with the front fork suspension, so you do have to order it with the front fork suspension if you do want that. 
Electric and light. also the turning signals uh, don't come stock. Electric Light Company said voltage stays the same, but amp hours increase to 42 AH total. Ooh. There's the front again. Let me turn it back on. Oh, Electric Light Company, what is the shipping um, lead time for these? If someone were to place an order through Shreddy's link today with the Shreddy 50 discount code, what is the lead time? I like those little mini turning signals. They're like nice and small. I like the size of them. Brakes feel nice, nicely tuned. They sent this bike to Shreddy um, for review. What was the question? <laughs> I, um, I, we've had a few questions asking how long did it take you to get it after you placed the order? Oh yeah, I, I'm not sure how, how long the this bike. shipping will take if you do make it custom yourself, but Electric Bike Company should be able to help you out with that question. Electric Bike Company said the hub motor is much better with throttle option. If only PAS, then mid pedal drive. Assist. If only pedal assist, then mid drive, but in the USA, throttles allowed to hub motors way, way better. Did I say that right? I think if, if you read it word for word, I think we're good. <laughs> Did you oh, say it was my... seven feet wide, Shreddy? 69 inches, <laughs> 70 inches long. Electric bike company said, yes, we have seat covers you can add to raise the seat, make it higher. Okay, I'm Silver's looking. Wor Silver's World said, when is the next group Down ride? Down here somewhere. Oh, for... Uh, Lewis Beach Group Ride. We'll have another one soon before it gets too cold. We'll, let's do one in a couple weeks. The weather has been like so bad here for like the last week and a half. So let's do something maybe in a week or two. I know there's that mega ride coming up soon in Austin. I would love to make it to. Not sure if I'm going to make it or not. Not 100% on it yet. Are, any of you guys, Are you guys going to the mega ride? Anybody else going to the Austin mega ride? The huge, huge e-bike group ride with Surons and all all types of e-bikes. I think they're giving away a, a Zoos there too for anybody that's gonna go that doesn't know. I just noticed my, I didn't straighten it out too good. My Feeney said I just designed such a sick one. Yo, se yo send me the picture of it, Feeney. I wanna see it. Electric Bike Company said the display also has a percentage readout. There we go. Percentage, I like actually the fact that you have the voltage readout on there. That's a lot better for me, especially for the range test and everything. More precise. JR said, isn't it a 500 watt hub and peaks at 750 watt? They said 750 watt. Electric Bike Company said hydraulic disc brakes, standard brakes like INCL. Let me actually look at the hub. I thought you were saying that. You, you might actually be right. It does look like a, might be a 500 watt maybe. Electric Bike Company, could you help us out with that answer? It does look like it's a smaller, uh, like a 500 Everyone's, watt in there. Okay. It, the screen froze for a second. Did anyone see that? Hopefully we're still alive. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Charlie A said, awesome bike. Thank you. Did anybody go to the website and, and build their custom ones yet? I know Feedy did already. If you guys are looking for one of these, make sure you check out that link down below to get to the website, build your own custom one. Use code SHREDDY50, get 50 bucks off your order. And send me the bike that you order. I would love to see what you guys came up with. I mean, the fact that you can make these custom right from the get-go is pretty awesome. The link is in the video description. So thirsty. Oh, Electric Bike Company. If you order the bike today, they are four weeks out and ship fully built to your house, certified and warrantied. And in great shape. And as you, you saw how it came uh, packaged very nicely. Yes, excellent shipping. And quality. Look at that thing, look at that thing. You know, give it the little once over again, look at that. Up and down, I'll just look at it. Look at that big ass sprocket on the front. How many teeth is this thing? Everyone I don't even the see that. They look strong. What size are the handlebars? What is this, like a 54 tooth? EBC, how many, how many tooth is this sprocket? This thing is huge, so you can definitely pedal it at, at a high speed. What did they say about the handlebars? What size are the handlebars? Do they, what do they want me to measure from end to end? <laughs> if we go end to end, about 29 and a quarter. What else do you want me to do from, from here to here? 
About seven and three quarters. So do you think this is the longest range e-bike you've had? With, yeah, probably. Oh, like that came out the box, definitely. At 42 amp hours, 100%. Uh, Charlie A said, Charlie, I almost died on my Teleria. No way. What happened? What the hell? <laughs> I do not like hearing that. Matt for Sack said, does it have a torque sensor? Uh, ooh, did I actually ask for the torque sensor? You can get a torque sensor on it. Let's actually test it out. So you guys, he'll be doing a full review video on this bike next. So stay tuned for that later this week. Oh, I think you have to hold, do you have to hold the down to turn on the pedal assist, I think? Yeah. So pedal assist comes turned off automatically on this bike every time you turn it on. So you have to hold the minus button until you see the PAS turn off. So I, I think I asked for a cadence. Hold on. Is there like a kickstand sensor? I think I did get a torque sensor on it. Well, let's go to five. Electric Bike Company said yes, you can choose any handlebars you'd like per the customizer sensor, on yeah. the website in the description of this video. <laughs> yes, I did get a torque sensor on this one. So we're going to see how this thing pedals. That's cool. Hold on, say that again. Sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. I was playing over here. Oh, Electric Bike Company was just telling them, yes, you can choose any handlebars you like per the customizer on their website. Put and the then link in your description. Can they actually, can they also shoot, choose to have the rear brake on the left if that's what they want to? I, I'm pretty sure you can. Well, you did, so. I Probably. did, yeah. <laughs> right. This is cool. You want to see if D can, nah, I don't think D can fit on this. I don't know. If you guys are interested in this bike, check out that link down below. I want to see how high this seat is actually from, from top to bottom. Um, yeah, there's a link down below. Use code SHREDDY50 for $150 off. Uh, I think it's $50 off. Oh, sorry. Use code SHREDDY50. What did I say? SHREDDY50 for 150 <laughs> So from the ground and for alarm to period. the top of the seat is about 32 inches. And then the highest part of the seat is like 32 and 3 eighths. So hopefully that helps you out. So 32 inches back here and then whatever I just said up here. <laughs> And then again, I'm about five foot 11. My feet are nice and flat. It does feel, I wish I had another e-bike in here to pull out, but there's just so much stuff blocking the way. I wanna see the, the size differences of a few other bikes compared to this. Maybe we'll do another live stream here and can compare different bikes and then see the different sizes and what's a good size e-bike for different size riders. Would you guys like to see a video like that or a live stream like that? Electric Bike Company said yes, actually can produce up to 1250 watts output per the voltage multiplied by amps, but per the federal law, we have to limit it to 750 watt max. Oh, so you can push up to 1200? Yes, let's get me unlocked at 1200 watt max voltage on this bad boy. They said 58T front socket. That's good. 58T. What did I say? 54? Great for pedaling at high speed. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They said exactly. Sorry, Dave. Yes, you can opt for torque sensor if you'd like. I'm pretty sure I asked for a torque sensor, and I think this is it. I'll have to try it outside and, and see what it feels like. Yes, yours will have a cadence sensor. Oh, mine does? Okay. Um, and I'm going to have to figure out which one of these is my brake cutoff so I can wheelie this back. I should have asked them to not even plug that in, but it comes from up here. I'll figure it out. They do a good job of, of cable management, as you guys can see. Electric Everything bike company nice said, yes, clean. you can add into the notes which side you would like the rear brake, and we will build it that way. Heck yeah, for all you wheelie boys and gals. Uh, someone said, where is your knee pedal up? Oh, like how high my knee goes up? Hmm. Hold up. Is that, he said, where does my knee pedal up? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> let's, let's not fall. So, can you guys see? Oh, they said yours is torque sensor, Shreddy. Okay, mine is a torque sensor. I thought it felt like that when I was pushing on it. Can you see my knees? I'll sit further back. Sit forward. 
<laughs> Anything else you guys want me to Does do? Does it feel normal? Yes, he's five, foot, he's five foot 11. He's basically like six, six foot. Six feet, yeah. It actually feels like I could be taller and it would fit me fine. Like I could probably like be like six foot five or And six. these are the 24 inch tires. They also make 26 inch if you want it a little higher. Yep. And seat razors. And then these bars, you can get them a lot higher too. And I think they do have like a higher like ape hanger style bars, different kind of bars you can put on this. Dude, I want to ride this right now so bad. Longer crank crank arms. I think these are like, what, 170s? You have the review video out by like next week, definitely. Yeah. Like even maybe the end of this week or next Hope, week. Hopefully we don't get another, uh, what was that, a tropical storm? <laughs> Silver Girl said, I'm in Philly and my bike top speed is 40. Will that be too slow for your group ride? Um, we, we can do like slower group rides for sure. I'm not saying that 40 miles an hour is slow, but we can definitely do lower pace, pace group rides when it's just like the Surons and bombers and everything. Yeah. We're probably going like 50 and 90, I think one more of it. JR said he can do a group ride after, um, he heals from breaking his ribs and collarbones. What the heck, bro? What happened? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, we could hope get right. a group ride here in Philly. Let me know if you're looking for people to ride with. Yes, actually, I have a homie, Jeff, that has a place there, and he wants to ride around there for sure. Like, we can set something up for sure. I'm still trying to get a transit van. If you guys want to help get get Shreddy and Didi a transit van and visit you guys on group rides, there, there is a link down below to become a Shredhead member. It's five bucks a month. You get videos uh, a few days early. There's actually a video right now that's going to premiere Saturday for everybody else. Um, and we'll, we're also going to have a video coming out Sunday. So we got a lot of stuff going on. Like I said earlier, I got that computer and I've just been editing like a madman. Just sitting in the garage, chilling, editing, playing video games sometimes. <laughs> uh, Brian said, can you increase the torque? On, on the bike, I'm pretty sure you can maybe increase the amps, the amperage on it and get a little more torque. Russell Zorn said, even with an upgrade of a belt, uh, an up a belt upgrade you're still even under 2k oh heck yeah bro and if you use shreddy 50 you save another 50 dollars, and i think you get yep. a free alarm kit too and you can lock out the forks too awesome so when you're just pedaling oh, jr said there's a group ride every monday night at the art museum um 7 30 oh in philly oh somebody was asking they're like yo when you were riding next to that electric was that thing going like 50 miles an hour it's like yeah <laughs> So here, back, the back was like shaking. <laughs> getting, that was crazy. I could try it out in the review video, guys. So stay tuned for that. But th so again, this is a 32 inch to 33 inch uh, seat height. <laughs> D thinks it's it's too tall for. A I'll baby. have to put on my um, platform Converse. <laughs> Surf rack, no problem. Less expensive. Everyone's saying it's a great price for the bike, less expensive than Definitely. other bikes that are its competitors. One hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Excellent price. Definitely. And you can upgrade it. You can customize it any way you want for the good price. Also. What do you guys think? Does this fit me? I mean, I customize this myself. Like, does it fit my style? Like, do you guys think it's me, or should have I went like all black and and green or whatever? I think I love this. I think it looks sick, dude. I love these colors. Maybe I'll have to wear some like khakis or something while I'm colors, doing the review. Yeah, what colors would you guys get? Get some brown khakis, like a shirt um, like this color or something. Mad for sex said he he like did your configuration and it looks like it's about three thousand. Uh, Damn, we, that's not SM bad at figure. all though. Yeah. With the three batteries and everything, that's not bad at all. You, the other other competitors, you get one battery and it's a thousand dollars more. Charlie A said, I went off-roading, riding up a rocky hill, boulder, and mud. Not a good combination. <laughs> with, with this guy? <laughs> oh, when he broke his uh, the collar. But, oh, goodness. What what bike were you on? Oh, yeah. Electric Bike Company said they have chopper-style hanger bars, too. Yeah. They the said they're hangers. cool, too. Yep. Well, that's cool, because those almost look like chopper, but they're not, like, as tall as mm -mm. chopper. Choppers, you'd be chill, like, riding like yeah. this. So that's, like, a chopper-style. You can get them high, though. Chopper style. These bars can definitely go a lot higher. So EB. if I were to unfold them, I could probably be up here. EB said, I really like this J frame. I do too. I definitely, there's definitely room for customizing this bike yourself too after you get it. You want to throw a thousand watt motor in there and push like 5,000 watts out of it. Feel free to do so. Russell said, if you're going to go for eight hangers, you need the front cruising pegs too. 
Oh, imagine that. That would be really cool. <laughs> oh. Mike said he just sent you some sick configurations to awesome. this bike. Yeah, if anybody else c came up with a cool configuration, send me the email, send it to me through Instagram, Facebook. I answer a lot more on Instagram. I'm, I'm barely on Facebook. Bob said Shreddy must be the coolest dude in Delaware. Love you, bro. Levy said if you have upgraded tech, you can adjust the headlights to come on in the dark. Oh, they, some displays actually do have that. Like if it gets dark, the, uh, the headlights will turn on. Maybe there there is a setting in here to do that, but I don't see like, usually you see like this little circle thing on the display. Hey, Love Outreach see that on said, there. are you guys in Delaware? We are, yes sir. At the beaches. We're at the beaches. We do group rides here. Brian said, love the wood. Yeah, dude. That's another customized option too, so make sure you add that on there if you guys are building one. Because it looks cool. They make these in-house too. They make these in-house. <laughs> Junior said, hey, Shreddy, I don't know what you're talking about. My electric is class two and only goes 28 miles an hour tops. Ha, oh, maybe ha, ha. I'm thinking about, hold on, not. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, Shredhead's member said, that's a sweet e-bike. Thank you, brother, thank you. Don't leave, guys. I want to show you um, what I got in the mail and some stuff I'm going to install here soon. And again, don't forget, I do have that Handleworks um, Controller that I'm going to be installing soon. I was getting everything ready for that. That should be coming up soon. And today, this just came in the mail. I had no clue it was coming. It's actually an upgraded um, Huntsman's tire. And instead of it being 20 by 4, this is 20 by 4.8. So they were having a, a trouble with the older version of this tire. The sidewall was really thin and easy to bend. So it seems like, the, I, I'm thinking, the reason they sent me this is because it's it's more durable. It seems like it's harder to bend the, these sidewalls than it was on the older version of it. But not sure what bike I, I'm gonna put this on yet. I'm really not sure. Maybe I'll do a giveaway for this, but that came into the mail today. I had no clue this was coming. Um, say a little bit wider tire. I'm not, it might be a little more rounded. I'm not sure. All right, and then we got some upgrades for uh, Suron coming very soon that we're gonna, we might do like a live install. Maybe we'll go to uh, the mechanic shed and hang out with Matt the mechanic. Um, Kemi Moto sent us a bunch of stuff. It's like a bunch of stuff from Amazon. This is like a, a motorcycle cover for the Suron. So maybe when I do like a camping trip, I can cover it and kind of hide it, keep the dew from getting on it or whatever. Um, I, I'm probably not gonna put that on there. It's for the back of the Suron to keep, it's like a little mud flap. Um, a Suron biscuit burner cover, I guess. If your biscuit starts hurting, you can slap that on there. I'm just showing the, you guys like what, what is coming up soon. We got a frame extender for the Suron. And uh, I got pegs and I already installed all the, the pegs. So you, you guys are going to see a video with these off. And I got pegs. We're going to be doing wheelies. Sun, Saturday and Sunday, the videos are coming up. If you want to become a Shredhead member, um, Check out the link down below. It's five bucks a month. There's a video out right now uh, for Shredhead members only that's gonna come out Saturday for everybody else. If you guys are interested and uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, uh, definitely drop a like. If you guys are interested in electric bike companies, Model J, check out that link down below. Use code Shreddy50 to get $50 off your order. I'm not sure if that comes with the free alarm kit still or not. Um, but if electric bike company isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. Any more questions, guys? When are you doing the review video? We're going to be doing this very soon. Probably next week I'll be uh, shooting it, editing, and then getting it out. Um, we do have one, two, three, four incoming bikes. We do have another bike behind Didi that we're going to be unboxing, showing, and reviewing very soon, too. Uh, any, other more, any more questions? And that's it. All right, guys. So that's going to be the end of the live stream. Make sure if you guys did enjoy the content, hit that like button down there. Um, again, one more time, check out the link down below for the electric bike companies, Model J. Use code Shreddy50, 50 bucks off. That's it. If you guys enjoyed that content, there's no horn. Is there a horn on this? Oh my God, there's a real there's horn. There's a horn, bro. A car horn. All right, so if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for that subscribe button? 
In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next live. Uh, so don't forget, video coming out Saturday, unless you want to watch it tonight, become a Shredhead member. Sunday, another video coming out. Uh, Suron, Social Motors, Upgrades, Fast. Love you guys. Hey, Say bye. Awesome. Thanks, Shreddy. Bye, bag. Love you, bro.